And just like that, the boys are back. Oh my goodness, the just boys like are back. <laughs> wow. The boys are back in town. The boys are back. Uh, actually, it is legit. The boys are back in town because last time we were in Cali. No, that's what I was saying. It's our first time back. Yeah. Since we had our Cali, <laughs> a bunch of podcasts over there. Yeah. It's a lot colder on this side. As sadly, you can see yes. from the beanie. Yeah, sadly, yes. Should have gave you a Jump Street beanie. Have. We have a Jump Street <laughs> beanie over there. Ah, man. Damn. You didn't think Just in case you were wondering, we do have Jump Street beanies in the store. We do. <laughs> we do. And it is beanie season. Yeah, it clearly we is discussing. beanie season. I should have yeah. put mine on before, too, to match everybody. But, man, it was a really good trip over there in California. Oh, yeah. Wow. How was it for you? I, I love being Busy. over there, to be honest. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> I could tell like, as soon as you got there. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was good seeing everyone and uh, obviously like the Negretti session and everyone. And Huge fucking turnout. Yeah. I feel like I keep saying that now at every event, but it is like it honestly, they keep growing every time I go to a different event yeah. or the same event every year. They just keep growing and growing more and more. No, it's really good. Especially like I like that the uh, Bleeding Cup is, I like that it's like a clean event, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because like. You know, I think everything John has its down place. To bring a beer on, on the course. <laughs> yeah, but I but I think everything has its place. Like you know, Winter Clash, like you know, they sell beer in there, and it's it's its own thing. But like the fact that it's like clean and nice, I think I mentioned this in one of the uh, mm. late other yeah, podcasts. Yeah. But it's sick. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm. So yeah, I'm happy we did nice. that because the year before I was like, remember how pissed we were that we missed it? I was like, oh, like everyone was yeah. there, but now this time like everyone Same. was there. So Again. I was like, yeah, we, I felt fine. Yeah, it was a nice surprise. It was. So let's get started with our WTF of the week. Um, we didn't go over this before, but I have a funny one and I have a serious one. Which one should we do? I'll let you pick. The funny or the serious one? Uh, serious. Okay, serious? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So for the serious, serious WTF guy. the serious WTF this week, we have Takeshi Yasutoko. Tek- Takeshi. Uh, Did you see this at all? Toe tap to heel tap. No. It's fucking dope. That's probably like a warm-up for him, too, though. Is that one again? Yeah, it's going to play. Toe to heel. <laughs> that's sick, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. On, a, ver- on see- a ver two, no less. But it's sick to, s- to see him out there still doing it because like a lot of the stuff I've seen lately has been like if his brother I haven't seen much of him. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's fucking skates all the time, hmm. I guess, from what I see. Yeah. But, yeah. So, congrats to... Takeshi, he had that under his belt of all his gold medals and stuff. Yeah. He officially has, he did X Games gold medal from like yeah. 98 to like to whatever. trophy to that, room. Yeah, to everything else. And then his. Uh, Do you think he's got a trophy room? He does. I've seen it. No. He, he like he? when you walk in, <laughs> as from what I remember, <laughs> I haven't been, it's been a while. From what I remember, you walk into like their skate, uh, he skate does, park. He does, I've seen it. <laughs> the skate park and like there's the front counter and then right behind yeah. it is like the showcase with all of both of their medals. And I think their dad's stuff too because their dad was a, wow. a roller skater. So like all the it's like legit like a whole wall of just like medals and trophies and shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, really cool. Uh, But now he has a WTF to put under his belt. (laughs) Top it all off. Add it to the accolades. (laughs) Top it all off. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have anything else, do we? I know, but we have an extremely special guest. Of course, of course. We've been blessed this uh, the past few seasons with special guest after special guest, and Mm -hmm. today tonight is no different. Mm -hmm. We have a very special guest this evening. Mm -hmm. He's a Young rollerblader from Brooklyn. Uh, a lot of you know him from his skating. A lot of you know him from his music. Mm-hmm. But uh, everyone, welcome, Dylan. Oh, Dylan yeah, Cooper. Keep... <laughs> we, oh, we need, know, we need a sound drum thing. roll. We need like we still need to get that sound thing. <laughs> so what's up, man? Uh, it's good to catch you in town. Finally, man. Because you you uh, you're all over the place. Trying, man. Trying. It's been it's been a a good couple weeks. Yeah. So. Uh, Where'd you yeah, just come man. from? Uh, actually, I just came. The last date I did was in Arizona. Um, had a show in Arizona. Actually, no, Texas, Texas, Dallas. Had a show in Dallas um, at the University of Texas, and it was really cool. But before at that, the school, yeah, at the school, it the was, dope. was for their homecoming, so it was really good. It was That's really, sick. yeah, it was real fun. Um, but before that, I had like uh, three dates with um, with the Wu Wu Tang Clan. We did uh, that Red is so Rocks. Sick. Yeah, super dope. We did. You did uh, Red Rocks? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, man. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah, it was I've been blessed, wanting to man. see a show there forever. The fact Bro, that you same. played that is insane. Yeah, so that was sick. my. I never got to go to a show there. My first show there was playing Whoa. there, so it was it was, was kind of surreal. Wait, did you catch nonetheless. some good weather? Uh, n- semi. It was it was actually the, I got in two days before the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, my best friend Mikey Lightning, another blader, he was out there, so I stayed with him. Mikey and Lightning, it, yeah. I like that Mikey name. Lightning, yeah. <laughs> Mikey Lightning. Uh, but uh, he came through. Um, I stayed by him, but um. 
Like, when we flew in, it was, like, starting a snowstorm. So we thought the show might have been canceled. Because that's what I was thinking. Like, if you're out there, you have, there was, you have to deal yeah. with the elements, so, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. it was, and, you know, Red Rock's up in the mountains mm-hmm. and everything. So uh, we thought the show might have been canceled. But, you know, that staff, they're prepared for, like, everything over mm-hmm. there. So it was all good. Everything went perfect. The the lights kept everything warm. And all mm-hmm. the people, it was a sold-out show. So the entire stadium was, like, it was just packed out. That's so insane. It was dope. Yeah. That's wow. got to be sick. It's like a sick pie going there as, like, a... a a guest or whatever but like to be there like on stage and to look up at it is what is so sick about that place yeah yeah all right well hang on because i feel like we just jumped into it but for like the people who don't know like i mean i think everyone from new york knows you and i think mm-hmm. most of the people who listen to this podcast know you but for those who don't know you um when did you start skating how did you get involved in the in the community mm-hmm. And uh, and then every and then everything like that. Like, how did your journey begin? At least in the skating, and then on to yeah. You know? So um, I started rollerblading. Uh, I got my first pair of blades when I was about like like seven, eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of my cousins like in Brooklyn were blading. They were just like having fun and stuff doing that, and I thought it was cool. And um, I actually first picked up a skateboard. I wanted to be like Bart Simpson, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Slingshot uh, and yeah, everything. <laughs> trait, man. But then, like, Shout out know, Jaja. Heck yeah, right? <laughs> so then after that, I was just like, you know what? Um, I, I saw, what was it? It was like Mighty Ducks and the Power Rangers movie, man. They were just, <laughs> that yeah, first I scene in there. Skating they, the Power yeah, they skated Power Rangers? I don't yeah, remember. the oh, first yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Yeah, the first scene, that. they were over there. After like they were like skydiving and shit. <laughs> They were rollerblading and just doing flips. Dude did like a Barani flip over like, <laughs> over like a, like a set of stairs. And I was like, yo, this is cool. Uh-huh. And my cousins got some rollerblades, but my feet were too small. They didn't have no blades my size. <laughs> you know, so I was like, yo, I had to wait a little bit. Damn. So then um, one birthday, my mom got me some rollerblades. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's, let's keep going on this. And then... Um, I was just like, yo, I want to skate on ramps because, like, I think it was a, a ASA comp or something that was on TV. And, like, I just saw the cats just, like, doing flips and everything. And I was one of those kids that's just, like, flipping all yeah, the time and doing flips all are that. Sick. You're, yeah, still, yeah. you're still doing it. Like, still yeah, doing right? it. <laughs> right? So I was like, yo, I want to do this. So we were just, like, looking around, trying to find a skate park and everything. And um, ended up finding Chelsea Piers. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I went down to Chelsea Piers one day, and that was it, man. Started going there, like, every weekend. And uh, I kept going from there. And, um, you know, you guys know Ruben, Ruben Prez. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so Ruben, like, became my instructor when I was a kid. Him oh, and, sick. Him, oh, and uh, him and Steve Cortez. Uh, they, so I started off, like, rolling with them. And uh, from there, it was that was it. You know, yeah, from, wow. From, yeah, started just skating. And then, like, you know, um, X-Ramps bladed uh, started over there. So I started going to ah, X-Ramps. Right. X-Ramps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's what I mean. When it was X-Ramps. Right? Yeah. yeah, when it was X-Ramps, yeah. bro. Wow. Before it turned into underground. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so, so this is like 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 8, 9, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> old, man. Wow. It was going in. So um, after that, like, uh, it was, was it summer 2000 and summer 2003, I went to Woodward. Hmm. Um, and before that it was just like chelsea pierce camp just like skating with ruben and then when i came back from woodward it was just like okay i spent like two weeks out there and it's like you already know what they say it's like yo when you go to woodward you come back you come back a lot better Mm. so it's like i came back i like knew chelsea like the back of my hand Mm. bro so it was like all right cool let's just start start doing that so i was a park shark man i wasn't even in the street like that (laughs) you you spent two weeks at at woodward two weeks at woodward damn that's crazy yeah and that's where i actually met mikey mikey lightning Mm -hmm. and he's been like my best friend like since woodward when we were kids and he lives in colorado Uh, he's in colorado Colorado now, uh-huh. yeah. All right, yeah, shout man. out Mikey Lightning. Shout out to Mikey Lightning. I didn't know Does that. Does he do music too? Or? Um, no, no. Mikey's just a, a crazy motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People right. know, like Mikey, Mikey, um, Mikey actually, um, now he's more into uh, skydiving and base jumping. No oh, so shit. He like, does that. Like, all, like the Power Rangers. Yeah, straight, <laughs> up, <laughs> yeah, straight up. He just picking up all the things yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, he's, from, he's from Jersey. He's from okay. Jersey. So, oh, um, sick. He, Mikey came up like skating on a lot of the Jersey cats and the cats out in Philly, like Adam Kilgore. And them. Oh, sick. So, like, you know, um, and he used to be like, I think Mikey used to be sponsored by Denial back in the day, too. Oh, sick. So, um, yeah, man, Very like, cool. we've been friends, like, since then. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yep. Because I know, like, uh, you know, I obviously, like, we met from back in the day, like, and skating at, uh, you know, d the mm-hmm. Avenue D, mm-hmm. and I know, you know, Cosmic from back, like, I met him at one of the last man standings last at man the stand banks, count, bro. I and man, that. yeah, he, I the, one of the first things, he was, he was chat, chatting, like, chatting shit to me, like, you <laughs> know what I mean? Of course he was, of course Cosmic. he was, bro. I, one of the first things I think he said to me was, 
Yo, why, why are you so cocky? I, I, I was like, you don't even know me, dude. You don't even know me. He's like, you act like it on video. Yeah. And I was like, get to know me, man. And then mm -hmm. we actually became pretty, really cool. And then every time we yeah. see me, he's like, yo, what's up? We got really cool. <laughs> but um, I think a lot of the way that the people in the blading world got to know you and mm -hmm. uh, you got a lot of support was when State of Elevation came mm -hmm. out, right? Like, would you agree? It was um, actually, it was before that, man. It was before uh, that? I actually have to thank the blading community a lot for just like in terms of my music because my first track that I put out was called Shadows and I was for oh Shadows right? I'm yeah. tripping Shadows, I'm tripping yeah, yeah, tripping. <laughs> yeah, yeah good, no no Shadows was <laughs> Shadow was the one you were yeah. super young man. yeah yeah, yeah super yeah. young man I was I was still up in college mm. uh, when I made Shadows and that was right after Cosmic passed away right. and uh, like dude that was when like Roller News was out and stuff yeah. like it's you know Roller News posted it oh and then, yeah uh, yeah because even like in the music industry people be like oh like because like I have like a lot of fans like over in like Europe mm -hmm. and I do a lot of stuff in Europe and they're like yo how did that happen and I was like honestly bro I think the blading community for that shit you think it like started yeah, it up yeah. because yeah because mm -hmm. like there's it, a ton it, of support on Roller News of course so um, when Roller News started you already know like they have like the huge Europe following and everything mm -hmm. so like over there it started like when when I uploaded everything to YouTube Roller News shared it and like I don't know what was going on with the algorithm and whatnot, but it kind of just sent everything in that direction. Hmm. So it just started trickling down from there. So it started Blade oh, Community wow. that side, and then from there I, I looked at the analytics. It moved from like it moved from from France, and then it moved over Switzerland, Germany, what the and hell? like those are like still to this day like my biggest markets. Wow. Damn. So it just started popping up over there on yeah. like YouTube through that. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, man. That's really, really cool. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. That was one of the things I was going to ask you too, because you always in, well, I, from what I see, you're always in Europe or yeah. there a lot. I'm like, how does somebody in the music game get like big out there? I know a lot of musicians kind of get like that too. Mm -hmm. that they get big in other countries before like their own somehow. Yeah. But I guess the skating, that's crazy that it happened through skating. Yeah. And it was, it was really interesting because like, you know, at that time, because like my stuff started popping off, like it. I dropped Shadows in 2012, mm -hmm. and then like wow, every seven years yeah, ago. <laughs> and then uh, crazy. then State of Elevation and all those other stuff came like around like 2013, mm -hmm. and that was kind of at a time when like because you guys know like rap right now it's like it's it's different you know, but yeah. at that point in time in that little pocket I I like to call it in that pocket that was like a real time for like like a resurgence of like people call it like the golden era sound yeah yeah you know? totally and so I kind of like definitely just refreshing like, yeah, for sure I was super, stoked yeah, yeah man yeah. and like I wasn't even into into like stuff like that you, you know but mm. like I love music I love sound and like those are the type of beats that like kind of just like capture me and like it came back down to like dude like fucking skate videos <laughs> you know yeah like, wow. I, like me like a lot of my musical knowledge and everything came down from like skate videos bro like i learned about the fucking clash from oh Brian yeah Shima i feel like i'm the freaking, same way too freaking leading the blind yeah, yeah. yeah like you know what i mean that's how and <laughs> to bring up freaking cosmic dude like we used to cut class like first and second period like every day we'd either be watching freaking leading them blind and ego those were, those were our two you would cut freaking, school and just watch gay videos dude, just cut, <laughs> leading them blind ego and subculture were the, like, oh, the fucking vids that were Sick. like our vids and then like and then like opinions mm -hmm. those were the fucking shits we had and just rotating <laughs> <just rotating. laughs> man and then like, like be unique came through with yeah, shit yeah. man we were fucking watching all those freestyle mm -hmm. rolling and everything shout out ramel yeah and all those guys, shout out you know ramel totally. for real for real man oh yeah yeah that's sick. Yeah, man. So skating kind of like boosted you up through Shadows when that came out. Mm -hmm. It's at like over a million views now. The How to State of Elevation get so popular? Because that one has like yeah. how many millions? That's like, like eight million or I something like that? like eight or something. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 That's, that's big. Yeah, bro. Um, I think like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> and here's the thing, like, and you're, and you're putting skating in these videos. Yeah, yeah, that's like, something. You like, think yeah, that was Gabe, sick. Gabe yeah. was in it, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Gabe, Gabe yep, is yep, top yep, Gabe. Yeah, shout out to Thorough. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's like that's that's something that like you know I think a lot of people who when they start like succeeding in another area they try mm. to like leave skating yeah. just on the back burner but something you, yeah. I never but, but you don't know, do exactly. that yeah the like, like 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 you you don't hide from that you yeah. like promote that it's really uh there's there's a couple reasons for that you know um the first thing is uh it, it comes back down to to cosmic you know cosmic was like my best friend growing up i got him his first pair of aggressive skates you know what Dang. i'm saying like he i gave him a pair of trs alphas took them off took mm. the skins off put some frankie skins on <laughs> frankie had the freaking skins on there you know and um like 
Cosmic, when we were younger, he was rapping. Like, was he? he was, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Totally. I don't remember yeah, that. He was cute, Doug. Like, he used to freestyle, like, on some next shit. Mm. And, like, that shit was always cool as fuck to me. Like, yeah. yo, this is dope. I want to mm-hmm. do that, but nah. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> and it was, like, it was one of those things I always look at. I was, like, yo, dude, like, for me, like, it gives me, like, clarity and just, like, makes me happy. Because I'm, like, yo, like, before he passed, like, like when we were kids, like, I introduced him to, like, this world of blading. Mm. And that's something that he went with. And, like, he made his stamp in that, you totally. know? Totally. And I feel like in terms of hip hop, like he gave that to me. So that was the that was the trade off, you totally. know. So it's always been special to me. So that's why like I always say like when it comes down to my music and shit, like from my first music video, I'm like, yo, dog, I'm putting blading in this shit. Mm. I learned a, a lot about music through blading and shit like that. Mm. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about it. People be like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Mm. like, yeah. nah, dude, like this is what I do, man. Yeah, this yeah, is who yeah. I am. So that's it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's like even in the in the music industry side of shit like i've hit like barriers with that shit and totally. it's just like like funny thing like when i first like this is like this is like 2012 when shadows first dropped like complex did like a freaking a, a stupid like story like where they put like rappers in rollerblades and like we're like making fun of it type shit mm-hmm. and that was back when i was on twitter and like i was just like yo fuck y'all bro like mm-hmm. <laughs> on some real Wait, what shit. What do they do exactly? What do you yeah, mean they, they put? They what do you mean they put like, rappers in like blades? They, like Photoshop blades on blade. Uh, oh, what the blades hell? On rappers and mm-hmm. and like artists and shit. Like trying to like poke fun of man. This was right what? after I, I poke put fun out. Of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I, I, obviously, you know. Yeah, yeah. And this was like right when I put out what? Like, my stuff. I didn't know that. And so I was just like what the fuck is this man yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. and like to this day like complex doesn't post like all my stuff when i do stuff and anything like oh, that shit. like Damn. you know so i was but a bunch of haters over yeah. there yeah. but it was just like it is what it is it's, but it's they just politics. posted blading too like last week or whatever oh, did you see real? that no uh the homie no, did this they, crazy they, they posted flip. something on instagram yeah it, it, complex it was, posted blading on their it instagram. was it was like a backflip that was done by this french kid and, oh um, the yeah 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 they posted it they posted it complex posted it yeah that was that was Maybe we'll start posting that shit again. Progress, we'll take you like, back, dude, Complex. We'll take is, you back. Exactly. We'll take you back. You know, you know, We're very forgiving. Exactly. <laughs> we are. And uh, it, it comes down to this, man. Like, And I always say it, and, and I've said it for a long mm-hmm. time. If you stick with something and you're, and you're true to it, it don't matter what nobody says. Because at some point, somebody's going to see that dedication and be like, all right, I need to take a look at this. Yeah, a real person and has no, to respect and it. And nobody, I, I've never been in a situation or anything like that bro i'll be like yo i'll be with friends and shit who don't blade or anything i'll I'll be like yo look at this boom nobody could be like oh this ain't cool yeah yeah nobody Mm -hmm. if they see it in front of them live it's even it's the the reaction is even better because it's like this shit is cool as shit Mm -hmm. we can't jump off of our shits bro we can't bail bro Mm -hmm. and we do this shit we're not nobody's getting paid. There's no freaking health insurance. Yeah, the people exactly. doing this like for the, for love. the love. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know. Up. So it's like we're, it, it, there was an article I read. I forgot what, um, where it was, but it was just like yo, out of all the fucking action sports, it was like blading is the most fucking punk rock shit That's out real. there. Damn. And it's true, bro. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. the most fucking. If punk you're still rock doing thing. it, yeah, because exactly. you don't get credit to do it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's you're just doing straight extreme like, now, dude. Like I got shows and everything like that. My thing is whenever I go on tour. I bring my blades with me because I'm. I was like, gonna okay. ask you that too. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's the no, thing. No, I was about to say like I, <laughs> I see you out there like even when like you're in like Germany or something, you like yeah. make time to skate of somehow course, or meet bro. up with people. Of course, bro. Tour manager so knows sick. what's good. Bro. Is it like so I was about to say? It's, 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 it seems like your team works with you. Yeah, like, it so seems like they find a spot for you, make time yeah, and stuff. Dude, like what? for me, like like just the other day when we were in Denver, right? Uh, when I was with Mikey, Mikey didn't even know there's a spot called Progress uh, that we that we went to. It had the airbag, mega ramp airbag. Yeah, was, that show was right? fun. Oh, so fun. Sick. It looks so it fun. <laughs> like when it comes to finding skate parks and everything like that, I literally, I wherever, whatever city mm-hmm. I go through, I just start typing in, boom, 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 seeing Where how far it is, how yeah, long it is, where, how much time do we have to go here between here? Mm-hmm. Because like skating is like you gotta squeeze only, it in. Yeah, yeah, it's the only thing that keeps me sane, bro. Just, <laughs> Since mm-hmm. I was a kid, like. It's been the only thing that's kept me like on the right path or kept my brain like going. I was like, about to say because like, does it also get stressful out on stage and stuff like that? Because there's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like, th- th- does it like you need like the skating to get your own time? Because probably people are on. You got to go on and yeah, all this. But like, I'd say like more so for me, it's like like 
I'm I'm an adrenaline junkie. Hmm. I love I work off of adrenaline, bro. Hmm. Like and I love I love So it's a good job for you. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's I a perfect being, job. Though, I love yeah. being charged up. Mm-hmm. And for me like if I'm like just having a bad day or if I, I I need to skate, like everybody knows me, it's like yo dog. If I'm not in the mood, if I'm about to like I need to go, I need to go skate and just like recenter myself. Like it's my meditation, you know. Totally, that's sick. Yeah, you got to get like uh, next time you're on tour with the Woo, you got to get like Riz on some blades or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? right? Get meth on some blades. Well, this is get meth on some blades. Get ghosts on some blades. Yeah, I was about to say this is your second time doing something with the Woo, right? Yeah. 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 That's cool. Uh, yeah, man. This is second, like, uh, you like, know, it's Staten tour. Island guys. You know? I know. That's what I'm saying. We got to talk a little Wu Tang here because you're like legit <laughs> chill with them now. That, like, that's you, like you the been, ultimate, man. man. <laughs> so, like, um, I first, um, I first met uh, the members of the Wu back in back in 2013. And it wasn't even over here. It was in it was in Stuttgart, in Stuttgart, Germany. Germany yeah. yeah, I did a, a festival over there. Um, which one was it? It was called Hip Hop Camp, that we did. Um, and everybody was there, like meth, uh, fucking, uh, fucking. Everybody was there. Every or everybody was there together, mm-hmm. and it was super dope, super dope performance. And then after we went to the freaking, we went for, we went to the club. And one of my homies out there, he, him and his boys, like, like own the club and shit. So we we're out there chilling and whatnot, and nobody had butt. Like, oh, nobody, no. nobody, nobody had butt. Rizzo didn't have butt. No. Nobody no. had butt, right? No. And I was there. I had the sack, bro. No. So I was like, so, You're like, hey, whoa. So, he, yo, listen, listen. So, so literally, literally, bro. So we're, so we're, so we're up there chilling and yeah. stuff. My boy, he's spinning. He's DJing and stuff. And Rizzo's there chilling. And I was just like, and he, I just overheard. I was like, man, I just need some butt. I was like, oh, oh <laughs> I got <word."> you. <laughs> he was like, was my good, man, bro. <laughs> I was so so like, yeah, we met there, and then um, that was a real That's cool a, night. Yeah, it was super day. super. You're cool in automatically you know? at that point. It was a super boom. chill night, you know. Mm-hmm. And then um, I didn't see them again for like um, probably like like two years, mm-hmm. two years or so. Then I got a call. That uh, Raekwon and Ghost were doing the um, the only Bill for Cuban Links anniversary tour, yeah. and uh, and so they bought me on. That's for that. the one. Yeah. So <sighs> and that tour right there was what I say kind of just like that made me solidified in terms of like the rap game. Like my shit was already like that was pumping. It was mm-hmm. bumping and doing everything, but the shit was like like 30, 40 something dates mm-hmm. that we did on that every day and there was only three days off wow. in, throughout that entire Work, tour. Working hard. And like it was like it was me and two of my boy, um my boy Enon, he was from Germany, a DJ, and then my other homie. And we did that entire we weren't on the tour bus, bro. Like, you know, and people always think like they'll look at me and be like, Oh man, this is so dope. This yeah. is so awesome. Like, dog, we did the entire tour around the country in a Tahoe, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? We did yeah. that shit in a Tahoe yeah. driving behind. Putting in work. Like, yeah. putting Are you following work. the bus yeah, like that? Yeah, following the bus, bro. Like, totally. you know, like, like you got to earn your stripes, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, you got to start from the bottom. Everywhere. Exactly. Everyone it's a long way to the and, top and if you want to rock and roll. Exactly. <laughs> you already know, man. And it was just like, a Wu-Tang crowd is very different from any other crowd that you'll encounter. Why is that? Because they don't give a fuck, bro. They're <laughs> there to see the Wu. Yeah. Sick. That's who they're there to see. Uh, they're, that's who okay. they're there to so see. Okay, so it's tough. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, you got to hold your own, and I, yeah. I held my own that entire tour, bro. Damn. I went, there was a show in... Um, well, your style, too, matches really good with them. It yeah. does, and you're a New Yorker it, 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 also. So. It really does, but your style goes good with them because yeah. it's, yeah. So, like, like, I remember there was a... There, there was the first, the first, yeah, the first show that we had was in, um, was in Philly. It was in Philly, right, mm-hmm. at the Performing Arts Center in Philly, and um, we got the call that uh, the other bus they were running a bit late, so I'd have to like hold it down until they got there, you know. <laughs> oh man, like, right, the pressure's bet. on, dude. It's like bet. So it's like boom, I'm holding it down, and you already know Philly is mean mug, boom, yeah, like, yeah. bids, bro. Just yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? right? So I'm there, like, all right, cool, let me hold it down. I'm not hearing nothing. I'm I'm doing our songs here, and like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And then it's like you can't let that get to you mentally. You got to be like, nah, you know what you here for. Mm-hmm. You know what you're doing. Hold it down. Mm-hmm. Did it? Boom, standing ovation. All right, better held nice. it down. Like, cool. nice. Damn. But then, like a couple days later, there was another show in Virginia. And that was like, it was in Norfolk, and we got the call from the promoter. They were like, "Yo, so um, how close are y'all right now?" 
and I was like, yo, <laughs> we were just going through the Holland, bro. <laughs> so no. it's like we, we had because we, it Damn. was time. There was it was it was time till we got there. Yeah, yeah. But long story short, they opened doors early, so and and op- so that they could you know make money off the bar and yeah. shit. So it's like they were like, yeah, it's getting a little rowdy in here by the time you get yeah. there. Blah 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 blah. Everyone's gonna be banged up by the time we get on bro, stage. Yeah. So we got the I got me and my boys. We pulled up. There was already cops there. Somebody's already getting oh, in a fight damn. and everything like that. I'm yeah, like, oh here shit, we go. I'm in for it tonight, yeah, bro. It's <laughs> tonight, <laughs> tonight yeah. bro. And on my my DJ at the time, like it, this was his first US tour. Mm. Like, you know, German straight, like his so English he went Philly, wasn't on. And then straight yeah, to that. Right? Straight to that, right? So then we're there and everything. And we performing. <laughs> and it's like shit going and then like it's like every time there was a break, it was like, woo, tank, woo, tank. <laughs> you couldn't woo. get it in. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Then my, my okay, DJ, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. DJ, he's like, he's like, yes, everybody has up. Let's get it. Like, woo. I'm like, oh, shit. Damn. Nah, bro, not today, not yeah. today. But it's like you push through it, push through yeah. it. And it was one of them shows that was just like, damn, son, like for real. Yeah. And Ray <laughs> That's how it is. Me. Ray came to me and he was just like, yo. He was like, yo. He was like, yeah, God. He was like, heard you had a rough night, man. <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, word, man. Like, because there was some cats in there in the front, like, acting, acting up. Yeah. And, like, I stopped. I was like, yo, dog. Like, I don't even care, bro. Like, I don't care that I'm on stage right now, bro. Like, you need to chill the fuck out, bro. Yeah. Now, as soon as I did that shit, he was like, boom. <laughs> and I was like, yo, man. Nah, 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 nah. This is like, drop the track, bro. DJ, drop the track. Let's get into the yeah. next one. Let's get into the next yeah. one. But Ray, like, gave me some of the best advice. He was like, yo, man. He was like, the audience could be your best friend or your worst enemy. Number one thing that you need to not do, he was like, don't argue with the audience. At the same, when you get off stage, you're still getting paid the same. When you on stage, do what you need to do. You came here to perform, that's what you came to do. Don't. Don't do it, bro. Mm-hmm. Just do what you yeah, need to totally. do. Tomorrow's another day. Move forward. That's it. That's it. It's like, it's like, peace, God, already. That's it. Nah, you know? Sick. So it's like you, you learn little lessons like that along the road and then made it through all them shows and shit. Mm-hmm. And at the end of that, I was like, you know what, man? Like, And they even said, it was like, like I'm, I'm here. I'm here now. Mm-hmm. Like, I did what I need to do. Totally. Like, I, I made it through gladiator yeah, you, school. You got to go through that, <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, exactly. Made it through gladiator school. Earn your so stripes, like, yeah. Exactly. So it's like, after that, man, it's like, any other show that I've done, every, everything, it's like, it's, it's, it's nothing like fearless now. now. It's nothing right? now, you know? It's like, bro, I can I can make it through a crowd of Wu-Tang Clan, man. <laughs> I was like, how, how many of y'all over here can come through over here and, and hold this down yeah. and, and, and hold your ground, bro? It takes a different type of heart to totally. do that. Totally. I know? bet, man. So, I yeah. bet it does, dude. What, uh, what's the biggest imagine. show you ever done? Uh, I'd say U.S. wise now, which whatever yeah, I guess. Um, I say U.S. wise was a couple weeks ago at Red Rocks. That was Red Rock, the big that one. was almost that was almost ten thousand, almost ten thousand. Yeah, that's nine, fucking crazy. Nine ten thousand over there. Being on stage for fucking nine ten thousand people. Yeah, Holy but shit. over in Europe, like the festivals over there, those would be like oh, 10, love, yeah. 10, 11. Wow, you know. So um, so, so you don't you don't get like you get energy under that. You don't get nervous. Yeah, no. Nah, you dude. never get nervous. Nah, man. Never. <laughs> that's all. I'd say I'd say that. The Wait till most, you get to the garden. Yeah, right. No, dude, I'm ready for the garden. Ready for I'm the ready garden, for ready the to garden, go. bro. That's that's Woo! that's that's where you, that's where it's like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You can be hyped that's, for that that's that that homecoming, one. and that's yeah, home yeah, too. Yeah, exactly, you know, you know. But um, I'd say for me, I think that that um, and and Billy, like I know you're a drummer, like mm-hmm. you 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 know how it is on stage, man. Like I'd say that that smaller shows are. A lot more intimidating hmm. than a bigger show. Is it because like more face to face? Yeah, with it's the... more face to face. You know, like there's there's more to connect to. Like totally. you know, when 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 you're there's there, more someone just like this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, like move. Don't make a... like in a big show, man. You could be. That's the best thing about there. being a drummer, though. You're, you're in the just, back. You just look up <laughs> yeah. and get nervous. I'm gonna look down. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just right. Focus on that. Yeah. Bro, your job. You just got people like. I don't know. The guy. Yeah, dude. Like I always say, like when it comes to the band, bro. Like yo, the drummer. And the bass player, mm-hmm. y'all are the most important uh, the motherfuckers yeah, in the yeah, goddamn band. Yeah, definitely. Because if that drummer loses beat, boom, mm-hmm. everybody who's <laughs> dependent on the drummer is going to be like, oh. Yeah, it's all fucked they up. Start, you tell, right, you tell right away when you the know, drummer's off. Speaking of, this is a good place to segue. Mm-hmm. You play guitar. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You went to Berkeley. Berkeley is a pretty prestigious place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. School of music. Yeah. And so, like, 
How did you, how did that journey start? How long have you been playing guitar? And I think am I wrong? Like your your dad put, got, played music. Yeah. So um yeah. so so um my stepdad he um he actually came up like doing music and stuff. He mm -hmm. was really into music uh, when I was growing up. Just like uh. Cause he's from London, okay. and he uh, he used to run like a lot of like sound systems, like reggae, mm -hmm. and do a lot of reggae sound systems. But he also used to play bass in, in a few bands and stuff back in the day. Sick. And uh, just around the crib, there was always like the like guitar, Instruments bass, there. like uh, and just records, just vinyl, just a lot Sick. of vinyl, you know. So um, that was kind of like my choices when I was younger were very limited on what I was able to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was either music skating like that was what i could do and then it got to a point when it's it a pretty was cool a, thing. Yeah. that's like my right. life now right? <laughs> but then, <laughs> but good, then yeah. it got yeah. down but then it got down to the point where it was like when it was like like that the angsty teen years like 13 14 15 mm -hmm. when it was like all right when everybody's really hitting the streets like hard and mm -hmm. shit like that and like you start segueing like my deuce was not with the shits yeah. bro so it's yeah. like sounds about it's right like, it's like nah music music yeah. music Sick. like Take the skates away, boom, boom, wow. boom, like right. stuff like that. So she was really supportive yeah. of the music. Yeah, she wow. was supportive. My mom was real supportive of the music, and like at that point, like I was in with the shits because all I wanted to do was blade. Mm. And it's like, it's at that point in time, like you know, like when you're going through them years, like as a kid, like shit, like in school is fucked up. You feel mm. like you don't have people and everything, and like the only friends that I had were in rollerblading. Yeah, like cosmic and like nunzio and all those type of kids mm -hmm. and stuff like that those were like that was like my support system mm -hmm. and the, just the blading community in general like was my support system and like that's something that i kind of always really like love and and the brotherhood take heed to to rollerblading mm -hmm. yeah especially the brotherhood because it's just like that got me th blading and the people in blading got me through some like rough times when i was a kid you know totally. and it was like that's what were really like held me together yeah. and kind of like built me to what I am now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like out of every sport, like I can't really, actually I can't really say because I don't know how it is in other sports, right. but I know how it is in our shit. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know nowhere, no other sport that you can really just go on and everybody knows each other through one person yeah it's not even a six degree of separation thing yeah. bro mm -hmm. and it's like i've looked i've mm -hmm. been like yo is this totally. six degrees <laughs> i've been like nah it's nah, really it's one, like person. one. Yeah. It's it's person it's one person yeah it's one person especially with the internet now it's, it's just crazy. like everyone's everyone's facebook friends with everyone or instagram followers and exactly all this shit. you know and um in it, it kind of just like the the brotherhood and the support we have especially because like we've been through a roller coaster together mm. you know we've seen shit go from the top straight oh, yeah. down to the fucking bottom and the mm. people who've stuck around they've stuck around whether it be for i right, cool like yo dude we're throwing an event like help out here mm -hmm. or if it's like yo dog like my girl kicked me out on some shit mm. like dude i need right. a, a couch to yeah, fucking crash yeah, yeah. on you yeah. know like it's like all right, oh dude, you're a button. Cool, Real come homies. through, yeah. come through. You know, mm -hmm. totally. so it's 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 different. It's a different type of bond. Yeah, but but you but so you had that. So you had this dichotomy yeah. of this and, and and guitar. And your mom was pushing on yeah, like playing the guitar. So like, so the so now you're battling with. I'm trying to blade. I don't care yeah. about music. Yeah, but your mom's like do music. But yeah, you still so, went to Berkeley, but then though. somehow yeah, you so, land into. So this is what happened, right? So, um, I ended up. Cause I got like it was my my thirteenth birthday, thirteenth mm -hmm. birthday, I got my first electric guitar. Okay, and it was kind of a, guitar? a Gibson SG, red and black, okay, red and let's black go. SG. Right? <laughs> let's go. So, cause like the year before that, um, uh, like I I got my first guitar, like it was an acoustic electric Dean that mm -hmm. I got like when I was like like eight. Right? Acoustic electrics are fun. Yeah, right. They make cool but sounds. I didn't, man. I, didn't, they I, didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> no, Yo, I, was, I, like, I think so. Like, you just want an electric at that yeah, point when you're that's a kid. Polino had one like a crappy ovation. They're kind of yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out John John. Yeah. Man. I miss you, dude. Yeah. yeah, right. So freaking um yeah, I got this acoustic electric, mm -hmm. and my um, my dad he was like he was like yo, he was basically like he was like yo, if you want to learn how to play, play guitar, and if you want electric, you got to learn how to play this, right. Like, <laughs> 
oh, I'm not going to get you one if you don't know how to play this. I'm not wasting my money to go get this. And I was like, whatever, whatever. Sick. So I had this thing and it's I was good like, good accent, by the way. Yeah, right? that was good. <laughs> so I'm, just like, I'm just like, whatever, man. Like, I don't really care about this. So then the, around that time, dude, I saw the fucking, I saw the fucking video from Woodstock. I saw the Woodstock performance, right? Mm-hmm. And I saw Carlos Santana performance and i saw freaking Jimi hendrix's performance that's the first time you saw it yeah you know like <laughs> in, change full, in full in uh-huh. full and i was like oh shit this shit is cool yeah so i got a freaking those are two really good ones man. yeah Insane man the 25th reasons. anniversary of that just passed like the oh, summer wow. yeah i saw like people posting a lot of stuff about Heck hendrix yeah. about yeah. that yeah so i got um <laughs> i went to freaking sam ash right and you remember that um like you remember in fucking school of rock they had uh jack black he had that freaking pocket marshall amp yeah like, yeah oh so, yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. like the honey yeah. the honey dude mm-hmm. the honey so got this this uh this little pocket marshall amp and it had the freaking mm. overdrive switched on it like this <laughs> just took a nine volt battery mm-hmm. so I, I plugged my freaking the acoustic electric mm-hmm. and all that and put it on the overdrive switch so i was like oh cool i got distortion yeah, yeah. and i started just like i was just watching this video every day bro every day of jimmy hendrix playing and shit and just like trying to play exactly what he was playing Sick. so i got like pretty good at doing that and then I learned how to play back in black with ACDC and shit. Sick. And I started doing that all the time. Then my daddy was like, okay, this is cool. So then, um, like, right around, like, the week before my 13th birthday and shit, he came through. He came home and he just had a Gibson case, but it was empty, right? It was, like, uh. a, a beat-up Gibson case, but it was, like, it was, looked so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Fucking pink finish inside of Sick. it and everything. Like I was like, yeah, yeah. the fur, oh, right? Nice. So I was like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. oh, it's shit. Cool I just, oh, he was like, yeah, I found it on the street. He was like, maybe one day, like, you know, you'll get. Oh, I was like, sure. all right, cool. I'll keep playing. I'll keep playing. Nice. <laughs> so then, freaking my 13th birthday comes, day comes, and then shit. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm happy, huh? <laughs> and then, like, he was like, yo, go check that case. And I was like, I went open to the SGs in there. I was no. like, oh, yeah. Damn, he planted money, the birthday was present like, like week in I was like, what? First I of all, like, he's the man for that. Freaking yeah. man, Dude, right? that's awesome. Yeah. So, right? So, I was, so, from there, like, I kept playing and kept playing. And then, um, and then, like, freshman year, high school comes. And she was dope. She was cool. But I wasn't, I, I, I joined, like, the jazz band at school. Mm-hmm. I went to Washington Irving High School. And then um, I was there. And then um, I moved. We moved. My mom, like, like, because Irving wasn't, like, the greatest school. And I was starting to get mm-hmm. into shit when I was over there. And my mom was just like, yo, dog, like, we're moving. They mm-hmm. ended up moving. And we moved to PA, to the Poconos. <laughs> Damn. And it was just, like. Complete opposite. There wasn't shit there. Yeah. I couldn't rollerblade. I couldn't do. There was no Nothing. skate parks around, like, for a, a while, you yeah. know. And so, like, the only thing I could do when I was there was snowboard and play guitar it's the only things i could freaking do because i couldn't drive at that time yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know i couldn't do anything yeah. so it's like i'm in the house playing guitar yeah all the freaking time and i just like tapped into that that was the only thing i could do up there Damn. like the only things you could do in the suburbs like that is like get in trouble drugs or, yeah, drugs <laughs> get in trouble and that's it and that's what was that was like getting into trouble was like something that would just start happening i was like yo dude like i'm I'm here yeah play guitar and then like i was like yo i can't live up here man so i moved back to new york <laughs> i moved came back down to new york and that's why i ended up i was here in staten island with my aunt yeah that's so, crazy yeah. man I even, that's crazy that i didn't know that we were yeah. in staten island at the same time all of us exactly because i was in the city most of the time yeah so no i guess so right really that's crazy. Yeah. i mean we were yeah, always man. all over the place too exactly. I guess, at that point and then so what you just like took like a test like go to berkeley or someone had convinced you to so, try to go or so yes yeah, it's so, a big jump so senior year uh comes and actually like juniors what like, school yeah. 2009 i was at irving washington irving you went back yeah. to irving okay mm-hmm. went back to irving mm-hmm. and um this is uh 2009 mm-hmm. Uh, and then the October, uh, that's when Cosmic passed and I got super freaking depressed. Like I didn't want to play guitar. I didn't want to skate. Like I didn't want to do shit. And, um, I had a girlfriend at the time. Uh, and like she, she knew, and my mom, everyone knew. Like my, I was like, yo, if I did go to college, because I wasn't really into going to college. I was like, yo, I just want to skate. I can play guitar. I can book some gigs. Do what I need to do. Mm-hmm. But um, after Cosmic Pass and everything, I was just like, yo, like I really just don't want to do shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just, I just want to get through school right now. Yeah, like, yeah. If that, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I around the time like guidance counselors giving like college applications and everything like that 
uh, I did the the application for Berkeley, but I was just like, yo, my mom was just like, yeah, you're gonna go. That's where you want to go. I was like, whatever. So I put the. I was like, yeah, I'm sending it in today, and I just put it in my backpack, bro. I was like, I'm not. Even do it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not sending this shit. In. <laughs> right. So yeah. then, like, like three weeks later three about three four weeks later I get a freaking email and she was like yeah we got your confirmation like your uh your audition date is today and i was what? like what so the, yeah that my, yeah my girlfriend at that time she freaking went in my backpack and she sent no in way. my freaking my, my oh, application shit. and got what? my audition date and shit right so i was like Whoa, fuck on the low, right? on the low bro Whoa. right so um ended up going up to boston for the audition i didn't prepare anything i was just like yo like whatever i'll just go and i'll just play. that seems like a nerve-wracking thing yeah because yeah. from a drummer's perspective i've watched like videos of people like talking about yeah. their auditions to berkeley mm-hmm. and it sounds like so yeah, nerve-wracking yeah they'll tell your ass no too <clears throat> yeah they exactly out, they yeah, right. a lot of people. yeah yeah they'll yeah. stop you like halfway if you yeah. just suck you're like no stop yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like yeah, american so, idol shit yeah man yeah. simon so cowell on your ass yep so i went in and i was just i was just like just noodling around doing some stuff you know just scaling yeah, yeah just, just scaling just doing some shit just funk stuff you yeah, know just going in cool. and uh then they're like stop and they're like okay cool we're gonna do the sight reading thing my sight reading wasn't that good because mm-hmm. like you know i was playing by ear mostly yeah so i was just like uh oh, i'm not that good at this right now but mm-hmm. i'll do what i can yeah so got that um and then like yeah the rest of the year goes by and then like right around graduation time it's like it's like boom you've been accepted uh for 2010 freaking um uh, freshman year or whatever and i was like oh shit that's fucking that's high, i was like right yeah so that kind of yeah. like like changed a everything bit of a around boost. yeah it's like, it a bit yeah. of a boost and it was just like all right this is this is cool like i'm 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 kind of happy about this right mm. now um and then how many years did you go there for uh i was there for two years did I you actually like graduate from there or no, no i did not okay but the thing is you know they say like when you leave berkeley uh it's kind of like graduating, you know. Like when you when you leave and actually start doing stuff in the music industry, that's yeah. that's the real graduation, right. you know. So, um, and even when that's I got the purpose, there, isn't yeah, it? yeah, that's the purpose, you know. And like, like, you know, I I start seeing that like everything has the reason why it happens, you know. Mm-hmm. Everything happens for a reason. And when I went up to Berkeley, it's like you already know, like. The two instruments that everyone plays at Berkeley is guitar or drums, bro. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's guitar or drums. That's Those it. are wow. like the main, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a drummer. Yeah. I'm going to be a guitar player. Wow. I went up there, and it's like, dude, like, because I started college at, I, I started college a bit early at 17, mm-hmm. you know? So, like, I'm super young when I got in there, and it's just mad guitar players everywhere. Yeah. It's just guitar players, guitar players. So, it's like, I like, left my school, and I was a big fish in the yeah, pond. Yeah. So, it's like, I get over there, just and you the see these fish. kids. Yeah, yeah, you get over there, and you see these kids who are like, Ripping, you know, they yeah. live guitar, bro. Like, right. They've had it in their hands. You were like, I'm, I'm here by accident. Yeah, right? <laughs> These you people, know, like, dreamed like, of that. Exactly, like, <laughs> you know? So, I'm there, like, all right, I'm not getting no gigs, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not getting into any ensemble mm-hmm. right now. This shit sucks. It's gonna take work, right? right? You know? So, um, I was playing a bit in, uh, like, outside of Berkeley, they, like, the strip on, um, on Mass Ave, they call it, uh, the, the beach. They call it the Berkeley beach, okay. right? So, so, on the beach, especially, like, first week of school, like, when everyone's getting acquainted, knowing each other, like, there'd just be people outside with freaking, like, cajones and freaking acoustic guitars mm-hmm. and stuff, just, like, jamming, mm-hmm. you know? So, I was there, like, all right, let me do something different. I was, like, I know how to rap a little bit. Let me just like let me just get my name out here like this. So whenever there was like a little like jam session oh, or something going on, I just start like going and just like rapping. Mm-hmm. So then like people started knowing my name from like just rapping in school like mm-hmm. that. And I was like, oh okay, cool. They're like, oh yeah, that's the rapper. Come to the session, man. Let's have, let's have <laughs> yeah. some fun. Let's shed. Let's, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like this Sick. is cool. But then like I started really getting into it and it started taking over me playing guitar hmm. because I started like really just like tapping into like okay like i understand this and just like like with guitar like i was never really like a huge like chord guy like i'm more like just solo like yeah, scales totally. like stuff like that like yeah. so Blue, like blues stuff, yeah yeah, yeah straight blues yeah, stuff. i hear a lot of stuff it's like yeah, a lot of blues stuff yeah. yeah so like what i what i did to like because like when i started rapping i'll look back at videos on when i first started rapping i'm like yo damn this shit is trash bro <laughs> right you know but i'll look back and what i did to like get better at like i applied what i knew from guitar into to to rap so i was just like all right cool it's all about rhythm mm-hmm. so let me 
figure out how I can get all these triplets and stuff that I'm playing right, on here exactly. in rap. And if I can make these things connect, mm-hmm. then I can freaking I can, I can move it. forward. And totally. it's like it's the same way. Like like even when I think about tricks, like you know, like okay, cool. Like if I have this, yeah, like, yeah. It's like okay, boom. If I do this, it could lead into this. Mm-hmm. If I move this way, it can do this. Hmm. So like if when I when I break stuff down like that, it's like all right, that's how you get to move forward, and that's how like I got better at rapping. That's sick. But yeah, I like that. that, yeah, that that's a good like. I like when people do that with the. Uh, yeah, like take that like a measure and like do that like implement those same mm-hmm. like ideas like the triplet or t-t-t-t- like break yeah, it slow man. it down like you know what I mean yep. like that. And someone who someone who thinks like that too like uh, you know sneaky yeah like Corey yeah. yeah so like I was talking to Corey like uh, this is a f- like back a few months back when I was in LA because mm-hmm. I was just like yo dog the way you lace tricks together and stuff I'm like yeah, how it's bro so smooth, mm-hmm. right? I'm like how bro mm-hmm. he was like yo dude I just start simplest thing like you know it's just like he's like dude it's like math bro mm-hmm. <laughs> you just break it down That's you just sick. break it down uh-huh. and once you know how to do this you can do this you can mm-hmm. do that mm-hmm. and you can do that mm-hmm. so it's like Connected. all right yeah it's totally the same they thing. understand yeah. yeah a lot of people don't break down skating like that yeah but it's like the ones who do bro they're the ones who are like up here it's like the same shit. Mm. Like you look at like how like Aragon skates. It's the same mm. type of mm. shit. You know, mm. you too, bro. Mm. Like you know, it's like you look at certain That's shit. It. Like murder. Like same type of ways. Like you see how like just the movements like very precise. Yeah, totally. Very precise. You know. That's sick. Yeah. It's crazy. Like it's good to have a plan in life and everything, but like people like you just like you have no idea what the hell's gonna happen like mm-hmm. you're skating you're on the streets whatever you move in the middle of nowhere you fucking get nasty at guitar mm-hmm. fucking out of nowhere you get a letter from berkeley that you're accepted you start playing you go to berkeley for guitar they end up rapping yeah dude it, it, it's <laughs> it's like kind of like the path of least resistance like whatever yeah. door opens it's like yeah and yeah, you seem like man, you're just like chilling it's like okay oh i'm just that okay i'm gonna go that way then oh is this now i'm just, just gonna go do that the flow, mm-hmm. man. yeah just go take advantage flow, of it bro. while you can yeah and it's like when you really like just look at it because it's like i just look at it like this i take every day as it comes bro i don't know what's gonna happen i just know that whatever's gonna happen it's supposed to happen <laughs> you know i just take right. it easy yeah. go with the freaking flow and don't be afraid to try shit hmm. you know don't be afraid to try shit like because if you don't try you never know what's gonna happen exactly man mm-hmm. you never know you gotta jump in the cold water man mm-hmm. That's it. You got to always real. jump in the cold water, man. Next thing you know, you're on the only bill for Cuban Link Store. It's straight up, <laughs> right? Straight. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was going to, you know, I was going to mention that before. I didn't mean to go back, but I remember, mm-hmm. like, when we were talking about shadows, didn't, like, one of the first guys, didn't Jada Kiss, like, retweet your thing, like, back in the didn't, day or yeah. shit? Yeah. I remember that. I remember, like, right when you're thinking, like, just a couple of days later, Jada shared That's it. crazy. Yeah. I, didn't know I, was, that. I was pretty stoked. I was like, oh, that's sick. Dude, yeah. so the funny thing about that was that was one of the things that it was, like, it was straight persistence you know mm-hmm. and even if we, if we want to if you really if you really want me to get into it with this music shit bro like when i was up at berkeley right i had a dream i had a dream that i was with cosmic bro right wow. and we were at 42nd street and all the lights were off like going down from like you know where like the movie theater is like mm-hmm. where the amc is all the lights going halfway down like going down towards like like javits center that way yeah all those lights over there were on going mm-hmm. up but all the lights going this way were down right with that there were no lights it was dark and we were just sitting there and i was just like sad just crying i was like bro like dude like I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on, man. Like, life just sucks right now. Like, I don't understand any of this shit, man. Like, at all. Like, I'm in school. I don't even want to be here. Like, I've started rapping. Shit is cool. Like, I, I just don't know. Like, I like I don't even know what's good with you. Like, what's up? And my homie told me straight. Straight like this. And I remember this shit. Anytime, like, even now, when I'm just like, yo, dude, fuck this shit, bro. My boy told me. He said, yo, doc. Trust me, man. He said, whatever you're doing right now, man, he was like, I got you. He was like, keep going with the music shit, bro. Just relax. I got your back, bro. Don't worry about it. Just push. Just push forward, bro. That's it, bro. But right now, he said, I'm going to go this way, and you're going to go that way. But I'm here. So we good. That's some real shit. I'm see you. That's it, bro. Whoa. And that was it, bro. And from there, bro, when I woke up, that was right after. Right after I did that shit, that's when I started going hard, and that's when I wrote Shadows, bro. 
Wow. And I was just like, that's when I wrote Shadows. The next day, bro, I sat inside of my bathroom at fucking, on South Huntington, bro. South Huntington in fucking Boston. I wrote that fucking track inside the fucking bathroom, just going in like that. Oh, shit. Wow, yeah, dude. Man, straight. And that's why I'm just like, yo, bro. First of all, like, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, of course, yeah, that is, That's a deep no one, doubt, bro. No doubt, bro. Whoa, no doubt, bro. That's heavy. It's real, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's a know, real one. I appreciate that. I got to tell you, man. And you wow. Know? We mentioned Cosmic a lot in this episode. Yeah. And I think I'll, obviously we know who he is. And a lot of people around New York know who he is. Uh, other people like around the world might not know who mm-hmm. he is as much as like that. And you were really close to him. Yeah. Like we all knew him and skate with him, whatever. But you were like probably one of the closest people to him. Yeah. Do you want to like... Is it okay to share a little bit about yeah, like yeah, cosmic course, and shit like that? Of course, man. So um, I'll say like so me and me and Brian we fucking we met when I was I think I was it's about eleven eleven years old about eleven years old seeds yeah <laughs> right? yeah right <laughs> and um I was skating at um you remember the Hudson River skate park yeah yeah on on Thirtieth Street when it was by the heliport yeah the old one yeah there, oh, yeah, yeah. Right? when it was by the heliport mm-hmm. right. And I was skating the bowl, and I was doing freaking misties out the freaking bowl, right? And he was outside the skate park, just like by the fence. And he had on he had on some Blade Runners, just some regular roller blades <laughs> and some freaking Fisher Price pads, right? And he was just standing outside, and he was just there, like, yo. He was like, yo, that's dope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, yo, bro, come inside. He was like, he was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm good. I'm, good. I'm like, I'm like, nah, bro, come inside, come inside. I'm gonna show you. I'm like, and then so he came inside, and um, there were you remember they had like the little micro and stuff over there. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, bro, have you like been on the ramp center? He's like, nah, I've been wanting to and everything. I was like, cool, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Yeah. He, was like, he was like, nah, 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 nah. I was like, dude, trust me, you're gonna drop in today. Yeah. So that day we started doing. He started dropping in and everything. And, like, my mom was there, and that was before, like, cell phones and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Dude, went to the freaking front little desk thing where the people would say, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I need a piece of paper. Ripped it off. I was like, yeah, here's my phone number and oh, everything shit. like that. Gave him my phone number. Damn, back in his, the day. Yeah. Right? yeah. Gave me his phone number. I gave him his. And then, um, and then after that, we ended up taking the train back together because he was like, oh, you live in Brooklyn? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. Then found out he lived one stop away from me, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, okay, I mean, that's cool." The same hood. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so he would live one stop away from me. So I was like, "All right, bet." So like, yeah, like let's link up. So then after that, they were like, I guess I lost the piece of paper that had his phone number on it, and then ah, I bummer. Kept, yeah. So yeah. I was like, "Fuck!" Like I'm never gonna see yeah. this kid. And then one day, cause uh, like I played soccer too and shit, and uh, I went to the park to Prospect Park playing soccer, and uh who do i see like walking her dog but freaking brian no way. and then he was like oh, you're the kid you're doing <laughs> for the skate i was like yo you're brian mm-hmm. right so then the from that yeah, moment from yeah. there from that day it was like it was on man you yeah. know so um around that time he started coming skating with me at chelsea piers like every every weekend we started going to chelsea piers and um uh this was yeah the year went by then uh yeah then i turned 12 and then freaking at twelve, I got um. That's when I got my I got my G force for my for my freaking birthday and shit. Right, that was G force. Yeah, the Genesee force. Ah, right? okay. Got the Genesee yeah, force. Yes, right, yes. Genesee force. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had the TRS alphas at that time. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Yo, bro, dude, like, dude, you get these because he had some. So black... he was still on some like rec blade type. No, nah, he or? um he got in the uh, black and gray sabotages at that time. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember we got just them a shits. step up. Yeah, bro, <laughs> we got them shits at fucking Models downtown. <laughs> Yeah, right. Got them shits. So, um, freaking went, gave him the freaking uh, alphas and shit, and then we went on freaking. What site was that shit? That was on Roller Warehouse. He got them shits back in the day. Got them. No fucking skate pile. That's what it was. One fucking skate Skate pile. pile. Fucking skate pile. Yeah, man. One on fucking skate pile. We got the skins because he was like, nah, I don't want to rock the white joints. He was like, I want, I want these shits like Frankies, bro. I want these shits like Frankies. So we got the freaking skins for them. Yeah, you could tell he definitely grabbed a little style. Like, I style like this and Frankie. Of course, bro. Hey, it's not a bad person. No, definitely not. Of course not, man. So um, from there, that's when um, 
Cosmic, he started he started just like skating a lot, skating heavy. And um, that was around the time I told you like stuff like uh, with my Dukes and I couldn't like, I couldn't go hit the right. street like that yeah, and skate. Yeah. But around that time, this when Brian, he started going around underground, started skating with different cats like Nunzio, fucking yeah. Jordan and all yeah. of them and shit like that. Oh, so he was skating with you yeah. before Nunzio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I always remembered him and Nunzio together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that was the X ramps, I guess, yeah, or be unique skate park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be unique days. Yeah, because Nunzio me and Nunzio were friends before that too right, okay. so I introduced so, them gotcha. oh, yeah, back sick. in the day yeah man so freaking after that that's when um, Brian he started hitting the street heavy and shit and started rolling with them and there was just a point in time when he started skating every day like heavy mm. heavy 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 Deep, yeah, and then indeed. yeah bro yeah. and like my older brother Travis and I we talk about this shit all the time bro that last man standing comp, bro. Mm-hmm. That was the day. I think that that was probably when you were talking yeah, about yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, totally. Bro, because Julian came out. That's when Julian was on those fucking prototype RBs, bro. Mm. Remember them shits yeah. with the big fucking wheels and shit? Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. So that was that day. We were all supposed to meet up at the train station on Prospect and shit. But I was running late. And then I was like, yo, let's just meet at the banks. So we got down to the banks. Me and my brother and my homeboy Floss from my hood. I got him skating too. <laughs> we went down there. I called Brian. I'm like, yo, bro, where are you at? He was like, yo, I'm going to be right there. And you remember that little, like, fucking, like, triangle, like, pyramid yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, rail yeah. that was in the middle? Mm-hmm. Yo, so <laughs> we see Cosmic skating down from the top mad fucking fast, bro. This dude does, like, a fucking, like, like back royale, 360 soul, and then comes out, like, 180 out. And my brother, <laughs> my brother, he looked at Brian, and he was like, yo, son, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he was just he so was like, nice. He said, what the fuck? fuck did this happen bro yeah. and i'm looking over there i'm like yo son because i hadn't seen him in like a couple weeks or yeah. something right he just got mad and nice he just got nowhere. mad nice he just yeah. got mad nice right and i was like, my brother was like nah son because like just like probably like a few months before that we went up to vans and fucking hackett's town mm-hmm. and shit and he was like nah nah i'm not doing this i'm not doing that mm-hmm. the dog he just started getting nice getting nice so that was me skate every day yeah exactly right so like leading up to that man it was just like yo like you see, like he ta- he he. That was like that point in time when he tapped in. Yeah, wow. I like, remember. You know? I remember that totally mm-hmm. because yeah, like I remember when he was uh, just like you know kind of there and then like kind of being loud and brazen. And mm-hmm. I think then we started getting like that. He started like you know you just saw his skating. Like he was like mm-hmm. see clips here and there. Yeah. And yeah. Like, oh, he's he's like and he was like, MySpace days. Really? Bro. Yeah, young, MySpace days. Really straight really up. Yeah. At first, I thought he was just like a little random kid mm-hmm. coming around, but then he saw it like getting really into it. Yeah. He was at every event, like you know, see my sessions all the time. Yeah, Brian, he started yeah. and like the thing about it, like that, like I love and shout out to like Brian's mom and dad because they mm-hmm. they trusted him a lot. You know, they trusted him a lot to know that he wasn't gonna be doing no bullshit you know right. and that's why he was able to go out and skate and like go like hit stuff and and because they knew like this is what this he is loved what you know yeah. this you is what he loved you let know? him do it yeah. exactly so like he 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 tapped in and like you know you got a shout out to like ramel and like john totally. stevens and calvin and everybody who kind of like tuck under the wing mm-hmm. especially when like gk, GK and everything days, yeah. came through mm-hmm. you know and like because he he really started going in and doing his damn thing yeah totally no that's and that's crazy too like um you know that he had such an impact on you with like that Mm -hmm. story and everything and yeah yeah that's crazy man first of all shout out yeah scott family heck yeah yeah. shout out to scott family. that's awesome man 100 percent. and and also and ghetto community and jordan because they're still you know yeah all the memorials always still doing that stuff so that's huge Mm -hmm. and the crazy thing is man like you know like and like I, I talk to like a lot of people like that I meet like just nowadays because like right now like it's something I, I wanted to bring up like mm. I've been like embraced a lot by like the ski community oh really and uh, yeah like uh, like I work with a company called Armada Armada mm. Skis and uh, they like they're amazing amazing like and honestly the best team in skiing I just no, gotta say that bro these ski dudes are yeah, insane I gotta dude. say it bro yeah. and like. They are they are not so distant cousins, bro. In terms, yeah, like, no. In terms of just like blading and skiing, like what they yeah, do, and what they do. do, bro. Like oh, no, 95 percent totally. of them freaking train blading, bro. Oh yep, and they're That's all true. fucking bladers. There's bro. a lot of them training at foam on like foam, foam pits, pits in like uh, Lake Tahoe mm-hmm. over there. There's yeah. like a space oh, over there. Really, they train. Yeah. Is that like yeah. where you were? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like same shit. Tahoe, yeah, yeah. Woodward, Tahoe. But like even besides pit, bro. 
low key a lot on the blade, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. You know, that's yeah, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, man. So and they're huge into hip hop too. That yeah. like that that like snowboarding and skiing culture mm-hmm. is like that's how we yeah, came yeah. together, bro. Yep. That's exactly how we came together. We actually yeah. So I met i first met um cat named um henrik harlow he's a uh, x games gold medalist just super cool beast, most chilled man. down to earth beast dude right i met him when i did my uh tour with ray and ghost the only built for cuban links tour mm-hmm. and we became friends from there and then i ended up doing some music on a, a be inspired uh ski movie soundtrack and then from there like you know i tapped in with a lot of different skiers and whatnot mm-hmm. and uh me and a skier named uh, tanner hall we oh, had tanner a, hall. yeah yeah, yeah so, he's definitely bladed yeah, bro yeah, he's yeah. Kind of, i've seen footage of him on blades yeah man yeah. so me tanner's like one of my closest homies and uh i actually just did a music he's like a huge yeah. marijuana advocate too. Oh, of course I'm not sure yes. <laughs> like of course, no no put him out there, put him <laughs> out there. tanner tanner, yeah, tanner yeah. is the man bro yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and um i just did the music for his um for uh he just put out a new section bro you guys should definitely check it oh, out really? yeah it's called um it's called oh man i'm blanking right now in the meantime in the meantime and uh yeah so the shit that you see there bro like like he's doing you're gonna be like oh shit and you did the music for it yeah sick. Damn, so that's sick. how can people dope. check that out if they it's, want on to it's, it's on youtube it's actually on youtube, YouTube. yeah tanner, man, tanner hall, hall tanner hall in the, in the meantime, meantime. meantime yeah sick yep so um but yeah like a lot of uh the the respect from from the skiers to the bladers, mm-hmm. it's completely there. And they love and know exactly what we're doing because they kind of dealt with the same thing with snowboarding with them, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, but the thing is, like, when you see what, uh, I'd say, like, the, the battle, the uphill battle mm-hmm. to get stuff and how to, how they're doing stuff and how they put shit down and, and just keeping it to the roots. Yeah. Like Tanner, Tanner's an OG of this shit. Like, you know, like in terms of like freestyle skiing. Totally. You yeah. know, I've heard and, his name for over mm-hmm. what, long, long time. Yeah. Now. You know, Tanner's that dude. And like he kind of set the trajectory in terms of like how these tricks are being thrown, throwing mm. freaking hammers, doing shit. But then you see like the game evolving now, like cats like Henrik and shit, and even Tanner and then my dude Phil, Phil Casbon, Noah, they're doing shit like now. They're on the skis and they're doing rails and like bending skis, hitting royales on rails and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. So they're setting up like it's like a lot of the stuff they're doing now is very blade influence oh totally it's very yeah. blade influence mm-hmm. and even if we go back and like go back like history wise and shit like dude if you look at cats like fucking nikki adams bro nikki adams oh, totally. was fucking pro for fucking solomon on blading in yeah yeah, yeah. That was crazy yeah so totally. it's like i i and it, everyone all influences each other you exactly. know what i mean like this even mm-hmm. the blading skateboarding skateboarding like it it, mm-hmm. it, it all like everyone mm-hmm. sees some someone do something and like you said like real recognize real someone's yeah. doing some badass shit, shit and man, you're like it's some badass what do you, shit, that's man. it like exactly you, know, you gotta re- respect that you know and one you- thing that i'll tell a lot of bladers and shit man get on some fucking skis bro yeah. get on some skis Get on some fucking skis Go this fast, year, man. Huh? Go fast, but <laughs> yeah. no, nah, the same That's shit. Just hard. You ski? Huh? This year, Tanner's yeah. getting me on. Tanner's like. I've never dog. skied, bro. That's I did what, once. I yeah. I've only That's skied the once. same thing. And yeah. the, every single skier that I tell that, they're like. How did you go from mm-hmm. this yeah. to this? Yeah. 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 I was like, I don't know. It just uh, like they're like, yo, dog. The movements, every single thing that you like, bro, Billy. Yeah. And same thing with you, Austin, bro. <laughs> Y'all on skis, bro. I'll, I tried it I'll, once I'll be honest, in Dubai. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was fuck. It was it in was, Dubai. Yeah, there's an indoor one. <laughs> yeah, me and Ortiz did it. it was, he never skied either. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Ortiz, but it's hard. Man. It's yeah. like everything's the same, but the fear of crossing your things crossing that no, fucks with me so hard. That's why I start off on the, the blades, small joints, the small ones. Work it do, up. Do you have to use the the one thing I turned off was the poles. Poles. I don't want to use poles, dude. That's what I thought too, but. Dude, I don't think I think it's, I think it's a mental thing. It man. is, yeah. The it's poles a are cool thing. though. Yeah, I think it's a mental. thing. I did like thing, one man. or two runs in the hill with the poles, and I left them after that. Yeah, it's like you don't need you don't need them. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's for people who like have really bad balance, and they're just like, oh, falling over. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure a different thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, I, maybe. Yeah. I don't but know. yo, like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm show y'all some Sick. sections and stuff, some some shit. Yeah, we gotta after this, we gotta check out some stuff. Definitely, man. That's right. You don't see that collab. I just want to see you don't see the collaboration that much because blading is like a summer sport i guess and then mm-hmm. skiing is a winter thing and you don't see them like we, we know how we interact with like other sports like yeah. skateboard bmx and scooter because we run them at the skate parks you never do that with skiing exactly it's a completely different thing so yeah. the fact that they like 
I don't know. We never talk about skiing or snowboarding, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't think that they spoke about us. But yeah. that's cool that you know there's respect because yeah, we man, respect they, them, I guess, right? Like I don't know. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I never talk bad about skiing or snowboarding, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's it's hard for me at least to respect a whole thing. It's easy to respect like individuals. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like a whole thing is yeah like. Some people might not respect blading as a whole, but they might have, you know, met Dylan and been like, "Oh, I hey, respect cool him as a person." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, th- and 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 that's kind of like the way to, to mm-hmm. kind of get things out there. Yeah, too. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like too, like I think, like like me, one of my main goals, like in this, and and shout out to John Julio and uh and all the guys over totally. at them, like Miguel and everybody. Oh yeah. Because like uh like and yo dude, funny funny thing about Miguel, right? Dude, Miguel was my freaking was my freaking camp counselor no. at freaking Woodward when I was a kid, right? <laughs> I went to fucking West. West? Yeah, no, West. no, at West. East. No, East, East back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Damn, right? Really? Yeah, what? yeah. Yes. It's back in the day. I didn't man. know he was involved yeah, like that. Yeah, man. So so I was at West probably back in was this like March. And I'm there skating and shit. I'm with Damon Franklin, right? So we're over there chilling and shit. And then he was like, oh, yeah, my man, uh, my man Miguel, you definitely got to meet him. <laughs> I was like, word, word. So then I see this dude because I'm over there, like, practicing some shit. And then he comes over to me, like, in his guru state. Yeah, yeah, and he's, yeah. like, he's like, yo, he's like, you have the trick. He's like, just come up <laughs> like this. He was like, just ride up the ramp. Just ride it out. Yeah. yeah. Get it. And then I'm looking at him. And I was like, dude, perfect. He the was passion. Like, yeah. And I was like. Hold up. I'm like, Migs? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, Migs, it's Dylan, bro. Because like when I was younger, man, because I didn't have the haircut, I had super long dreadlocks, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, dreads? Yeah, when I was little. That long ago? Yeah, yeah. Dude, they were down there. Damn. Why do you think Cosmic wanted his dreads, bro? Oh, damn. You know? (laughs) So I was like, I was like, yo, shit. He was like, (gasps) oh. Yo, dude, Damn. like it was like flashback. He was Whoa. like, "Holy shit!" Mm. Then I was like, "He was like, dude, you, Mikey, mute," because it was like me and Mikey Lightning, bro. Like that was like <laughs> Mikey the Lightning crew, yo. <laughs> that was a little crew. I, I man. gotta ask why Mikey Lightning. Why is that, dude? Did so you skate Mikey, lightning? no. So Mikey, <laughs> here, here's the cool thing about Mikey. So Mikey, um. Mikey, when we were little, right, he used to have like the lightning bolt freaking like uh, in his Sick. haircut and shit. Right? <laughs> so he had the lightning yeah. bolt in, in his haircut and freaking Arlo Eisenberg mm-hmm. fucking gave him that nickname at ASA. What? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, you got to so, keep the name after yeah, that. Right? So Arlo he gave him that it. name. And then uh, Mikey was actually trained by like personally trained like every week and by Chris Edwards. Mm-hmm. So uh, Mike, yeah, dude. So, How did that happen? Uh, I went- Chris Edwards saw him at ASA when he was little, and then he went up to Woodward and shit. And then oh, at Woodward, they, yeah. And then they linked like that, and then it was an every weekend thing. So like, wow. Like me, like I tell Mikey like all the time and shit. Like in terms of like his like his blading, like anybody who's seen my, like Mikey's blading and like OGs and shit, like who used to compete and shit, like they'll be, they'll be like, yo, just say Mikey Lightning. They're like, oh yeah, we know Mikey Lightning, <laughs> That's right? Sick. But like Mikey has Mikey in terms of like just skating like vert because I used to skate a lot of vert when I was little. That was like my main thing that I did a lot. Mm-hmm. Like was vert. Like I competed in core tour. Like got second at core tour when I was Damn, younger. Core tour. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 I know, bro. right? Was less yeah, than dude. that. <laughs> yeah, man. I got freaking second at core tour when I was younger. Yeah, yeah if you know what core tour is, you're an yeah, OG. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. You got straight. second, really? Yeah, 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 yeah man. Wow, dude, like dude. vert was my shit, bro. Wow. So that, that was my thing, like vert and like fly box shit, bro. That was like wow. my thing when I was little. Damn, you got to give me some lessons on vert. Yeah, straight man so freaking um like mikey was taught like precisely by like chris edwards like vert shit so like his style on vert like all that shit like when you guys were looking at freaking takeshi with like yeah, the yeah. toe tap shit mm-hmm. and all yeah. that like dude it's like that's mikey mikey does that shit like yeah because that's edwards stuff yeah man I can't, I can't imagine edwards teaching me how to like skate vert because mm-hmm. he skated like unlike anyone else did and it was so wild and so crazy yeah yeah but it's like I think it's one of those things like you know like you can you, you can do something yourself but when you're teaching somebody you can hone in on the things that you don't do perfectly of course, yeah. you know and see it projected into somebody else you mm-hmm. know and that was Mikey bro like Mikey Mikey should be like if he was kept on skating on the on the he still skates like how he does but like 
couple years ago he had a real bad skydiving accident like and like oh, he no. broke his, yeah dude broke his femur broke oh, both his legs god. his feet thank god everything. he lived yeah bro and oh, the, and he's still skating now throwing double backs and, and he shit he broke his femur Damn. bro dude, dude that's a really titanium. hard thing yeah, to recover bro. from yeah man femur's like the worst yeah. Yeah, yeah, i think it's the biggest bone you buy yeah yeah man dude he yo bro mikey lightning bro i've seen that kid freaking flatline Two times in my life, what? bro. What? He's a freaking monster, bro. Dude, He's twice. That's who you need to have on here. Mikey, you need we to have get Mike, you on, bro. Mikey yeah. fucking lightning. But that's Mikey, we also, we also need you to calm down. Too, yeah, yeah. Take, <laughs> take, take it easy. Take take it easy. Mike. Nah, dude, Two is he, enough. He's chilling. He's chilling, bro. <laughs> he's, chilling. <laughs> he's doing. He's doing his thing. But Sick. Like, that's great. Like, All he, right. Yeah, he's the man, bro. Big shout out, Mikey Big Lightning. Shout out to Mikey Lightning. Yeah. Jeez. Um, well, I think eventually we're going to yeah. open it up for questions because I I know there's a lot of people that want to you know ask you questions because that. But um. Before we get into that, I just want to say thanks again for, of course, man. for, oh, yeah, for making a good time, like, know, honestly. Man. And uh, glad this happened. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, honestly, dude, it's like super easy to talk to. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Of course, yeah, man. it's great. It's you basically know me half of mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. It's kind of true, actually. True. Yeah, yeah. think about it that way. So, yeah. But um, but before we open it to uh, the, the people, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my little spiel in a second, but yeah. I wanted to ask, uh, you know, you're really busy. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, like, if you know we haven't said but we've been trying to do this with you for a little while now yeah and yeah and, and it's always like oh and it feels like like everything that you do is very spontaneous mm-hmm. you're like oh i might have to go to la next week yeah. oh i'm going to la next week yeah and everything's so quick it's like a very fast paced life so like what what's like you know before we open it up like what, what's your day-to-day like what's your what's your like life like right now uh life like right it now seems like fast yeah dude yeah? like it's it's ever changing, but like for the most part, it's like it's pretty normal, man. I wake <laughs> up, <laughs> drink coffee, uh, from home, go walk my dog, uh, hang out with my girl. Uh, it's standard. Freaking, it's like you hit the road. Yeah, man. Like, dude, when I'm home, it's just like more like just like family. Unwind. Just family, mm-hmm. you know. Just try to chill out, family. And besides that, it's just like trying to figure out how to structure things to just move forward. You know, that's mm-hmm. about it. <laughs> yeah all right simple life yeah i think you still skate when you're at home yeah obviously man. squeeze yeah. it in yeah you said you ran to ricardo the other yeah. week yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. so fucking it's random crazy, rude. so random but uh everyone if you don't already do it please follow us on, on all of our social media platforms go to our uh th- instagram follow us go to our facebook give us a like um give us a subscribe and give us a follow on youtube because when you subscribe and you hit the notification bell you get a little ding so when we have people on you know like this your phone goes oh shit i need to stop everything i'm doing and sit mm-hmm. down charge my phone and watch what's going <laughs> on um go to our itunes give us a five star uh rating give us a comment and the interactions help and if you feel inclined to support our work so we can keep doing this we also have a patreon get that patreon so, you know feel free to go to the patreon donate a buck five bucks it's gonna go to pizza and uber and, and, and maybe and a ticket for us pizzas and Uber and maybe a ticket for us to go, go somewhere. somewhere you know but speaking, yeah. of, speaking of patrons I want to just mention it I should have mentioned this at the top of the show right shout out our new patrons for the month Ooh. Manzur Hyatt Khan Joel Biscan, Santut Kandor and Quinn Tran there's a lot of uh, foreign bad. names right there yeah. I feel yeah. bad because he has to do the names every time <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of shielded from the names you know? Yeah, and I'm I'm, I'm no, I'm, I'm no better than yeah. him. I'm no better than <laughs> yeah. him with, with the names, but he has to say it. You're like, let him do it. It always I, lands on him. I think, you know? I think the faster I so, say it, the more I get away with it. That's but it. Thank you guys so much, and thanks to everyone else on our our Patreon page. We appreciate thanks it again. very much, very much. Um, cool. So let me see what we got questions here. Um, I don't know if this is a serious one or not. Joseph Maddie, has he ever crossed paths with Miles Harris in the hip hop world? Miles Harris. I'm not sure. Who that okay, is. I, mean, I didn't. I didn't either. I didn't know if that yeah. was a, a thing. <laughs> um, also, by the way, I wanted to say one thing real quick before yeah. the other uh, questions come. Um, the fact that Jada Kiss just did your thing. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, was like one of the first people that like you know retweeted your thing when yeah. you first got on. He actually just did something with Kid Art. I don't know if you saw. Oh it. yeah, did oh, you no, see I that? didn't see it. He did. He, he did like just a short film with Kid Art, and it was like with Peter Green. Do you know? Really? Who, do you know who Peter Green is? No. He's the guy from like The Mask. Like who's like, <laughs> like the evil, the bad what guy the from the mask? Way. Yeah, so it was like J- it was like Jada K- Kiss, like Peter Green, but uh, Kid R just did that. So it's funny, like how everything's connected. By the way, damn, that's I sick. didn't even know that. That's super yeah. sick. Bro. Do you ever talk to those guys at all? No, I haven't, seen, bro. I haven't seen them guys since I was little, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> since yeah. skate park days, days yeah, skate park days, right? Days, it's crazy, everything's connected. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, 
Kiko Lowe wants to know who were your influences. I don't know if he's referring to music or skating, but why not both? Let's do both. <laughs> uh, both. Let's do both, man. Uh, freaking influences skating. I'd have to say freaking these two men right here. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, we made the list. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, freaking Aragon, freaking Ramel, freaking the entire freaking Be Unique crew, freaking Sean Kelso, Colin. Totally. Uh, Good crew. Freaking, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> and just guys who I just came up around like you know you like with blading you looked up the people who you hung out with mm-hmm. and so like when I was little freaking I wanted to be like Adam Kilgore dude. Yes. <laughs> sick we I like that be- you had the balls to admit that yeah bro that. dude I, I have to <laughs> not man. that many people want to admit Yo, that man dude and <laughs> and honestly bro like even when I started my rap shout shit, out man, Kilgore. shout out Kilgore yeah. bro Kilgore was like one of, like I did probably like two shows and stuff mm-hmm. and Kilgore helped me out when I was younger and shit too man Sick. so like shout out to Kilgore's we he's know he's deep it, in there yeah, yeah bro and we Kilgore knew me and Mikey bro mm-hmm. from freaking Woodward when we were fucking mm-hmm. 11 yeah. what mm-hmm. 10 11 years Sick. old bro. Mm-hmm. you know so it's, it's it's people like that who've like stuck around and really like know what's good we gotta know? get him on the show we've been trying Kilgore? to we've been yeah. talking about getting him on for a while yeah. that'd be dope big shout out Adam Kilgore but yeah like about music, music? Uh, music wise and shit man um, like I know from, Jimmy. Yeah, of course, of bro. Dude, things. got Jimmy Tatter right there, bro. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy right there. Got the Cosmic right there, you know? What? Yeah. Damn. Damn. That's but tight. freaking... That me and Jimmy um, had the same birthday. Oh, serious? Yeah. <laughs> What's it? November, November 27th. 27th Wednesday. Right? Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, man. <laughs> November 27th. But freaking uh, Jimmy, bro, like... Coming up in guitar, like, I was really into just, like, a lot of, like, just, like, classic rock shit. So, like, freaking, like, Eric Clapton and Cream. Oh. Fucking, um, Cream. I was, yeah, bro. Yeah, I was your really jam right into, there. Yeah, <laughs> man, bro, dude, I was yes. really into Cream, bro. Fucking, fucking Yardbird shit, bro. Yeah. Damn, That's Yardbird. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was, like, real, like, blues influence. So, like, freaking, like, Howlin' Wolf. Fucking Sick, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Love Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes. Uh, on the hip hop side of stuff, like, dude, I was really into, dude, I'm from Brooklyn, so like Biggie. Totally. And Biggie was, I got, and, and the way I got into Biggie, like, like full fledged, like, you know, when you're younger, you hear music and shit, it's like, oh, that's cool. But yeah. when I really started digging into Biggie, bro, was in, what video was it in, bro? I think it was, I think it might have been. Party and Bullshit Sul- with Frankie? <laughs> no, I, I think it was in. S- it wasn't in Soak. I think it was in Opinions, bro. It was the Opinions IMYTA oh, section. Yeah. And they used fucking Machine Gun Machine Funk, Funk, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Dude. For yo, the bro. <laughs> that, bro, so. That one. Literally, that was one of the songs, bro. Like, when we would go skate on the weekend and shit. Like, Chelsea V, Cosmic, Nunzio and shit, That's bro. But that was when we used to burn CDs and shit, bro. Yeah. And that was one of the shit we put on the fucking CD to play in the fucking speaker. We're like, yo, we're going to skate That's, to this That song shit. goes, too. You bump Hell that yeah. shit no, with that, that beat. That's what? got the real Brooklyn feel, too. Hell, right? yeah. That's kind of like that vibe. Like, you know, not, yep. just, not just another song. That Majet did a good vibe. job picking that for the IMYT oh, yeah, session bro, too, right? Like, amazing, bro. Mm-hmm. So fucking yeah, man. I'm fucking like Gangstar. Um, oh, gangstar. Fucking yeah. who else, man? Right? Yeah, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fucking Jay. Um, who else, man? Uh, yeah, it's just hard when you're thinking about who's coming. Totally, right, totally. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, man. You already know. That's a lot of good names, yeah, though. Yeah, it was a good all around, a and lot of, of good course, names. the Wu Tang Clan, man. Yeah, Ooh, of course, the Wu Tang. Shout out the Wu Tang. Shout out the RZA, the Jizz. Respect the Um, Ching Ching eight four seven. What's your favorite song of your own? Ah, uh, my favorite song of my own would have to be uh, Shadows Part Three. I think. Shadows Part yeah, 3? Shadows Part 3, yeah. Sick. Yeah, man. Is that a more recent one? Yeah, it's more recent run. I haven't heard that one. I've heard Shadows year. 1 and 2. I haven't yeah, heard yeah, 3 yeah. yet. Yeah, I didn't know that was a 3. Last year, yeah, mm. yeah. I did that last year, yeah. I gotta get into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aaron Schultz, shout out. Super Chat 499. Ooh. I'm glad you stayed awake for this one, Aaron. But he also asks, what artist would you like to work with in the near future? Good looking out on that Tanner Hall video. Much love from the hashtag White Rabbit Skate Team. Oh heck yeah, man! <laughs> Shout out to right the right Ravik skate team, yeah. And, he, and yeah, for checking out the Tanner video. Mm-hmm. But um, somebody who I want to work with pretty soon uh, would definitely be uh, uh, Conway, Conway the Machine, and the cats from Griselda, the cats out from Buffalo. I think that they are the realest niggas in from rap Buffalo? right now. Yeah, they're from Buffalo, from but they're Buffalo. The, Conway? The, yeah, yeah. But they're the hardest niggas in rap right now, bro. They're, they're the Dope is Conway, West Side Gun, and fucking Benny the Butcher, bro. The Benny nicest. the Butcher. I've heard of Benny yeah. the Butcher. I never heard yeah. any of these names. Yeah, Jeez. bro. They're the nicest niggas I've in rap right now, bro. Sick. Nice, Putting bro. Buffalo on the map, too. Yeah, I haven't heard of anybody from Buffalo. No, me neither. That's what I'm saying. They, Buffalo. They, I'm they like, got, what are you talking that, about? That's theirs, So, bro. yeah, if you that's come out of Buffalo, about. you got to be... You got to come correct. That's theirs, bro. You're going to hear this shit, and you're going to be like, 
damn, son. Mm. Straight. Damn, yeah, that's sick. Um, mm-hmm. We'll do like one more, then we'll we'll call it. Uh, Dion Hill, what are your thoughts on the Xavier Wolf jumping on blades now? Xavier Wolf. Did, is, I don't know. I don't know what's up yeah, with these names. Is. What's up with these names, people? I thought somebody's that, jump. If they're jumping on blades, you know, <laughs> what I mean? that's that's what's up. That's what's up then. <laughs> that's a good. That's know, just know who up. took the scars for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's it. But that's what's up, bro. All right, all right. My my question to you now that we were talking about the Wu just now. Favorite, yeah, wo- favorite, wo- wo- favorite Wu member. Blades. Favorite Wu member. Favorite Wu member. Oh, man. Well, that's, tough. A, that's tough to ask because it's, a... the, 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 it's multifaceted, right? <laughs> Yo, bro, there's like they're... your favorite lyricist from yeah, the world? Yeah, bro. Yeah. This but is... now he knows him on the personal level. Yeah, so it's different. Yeah. That's why it's tough. I can't say my favorite Wu member, but I would say that it depends on the day, bro. It depends on how I'm feeling, <laughs> man. Yeah. Because there's a, a, me- there's, a Wu- to there's a Wu member for every every emotion, <laughs> Dude, bro. I feel, I, I, Straight I, I, up. I feel that. Straight if you're feeling, up, if you're yeah. feeling like you want to learn something, you listen to some jizzle. Jizzle. Yeah, exactly. If it's a rainy day, you know, yeah. you know who to listen to. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's true. It's hard to pick a woman member. Yeah, it's tough. It's like choosing between your own kids. Yeah, right? <laughs> Some people be doing that now. <laughs> it's like choosing between your own, like, uncles. Right, yeah. Like, nine uncles. Yeah. They're like, going to be like, like word? <laughs> yeah, right? For real? The other one gets mad. <laughs> him? Yeah. <laughs> him? It's like one's a really good cook, but the other one's, like, you know, like, cool to, like, you know. Yeah. Some, some Do a little shum- yeah, exactly. yeah, smoky, smoky. <laughs> That's what's up. But thank you so much, of course. Dylan, for coming on. This was fucking amazing. Yeah. Definitely. So glad we made this work out. I def yeah. No, I mean. Sorry. No. I just want to say thanks too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to shut down the podcast or anything. Yeah. I didn't mean to shut it down. I didn't mean to shut it down. Uh yeah, Dylan, thank you so much for coming. Thanks everyone for watching. Yep, thank uh you. Hopefully we get to link up more that you're in Staten Island a little more. Heck you know yeah, while we're totally. here. That's, that's, and, it, and it'd be cool shit. if we can get some sessions going. Yeah, I also yeah. want to say thank you. Thanks for taking your time course, out. I know man. you're a busy guy, and we're looking forward to seeing everything you're doing this year. Um, before we let you go, if there's one thing you want to like impart or leave mm-hmm. upon everyone, or check out people where they can go find your stuff, yeah, or man. what they can do to support your work or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm Instagram at the Dylan Cooper. Just type in Dylan Cooper. YouTube, Spotify, um, support. Support Jump Street, man, and support Blading, man. We we out here. Straight we up. out here. Lip. It's going to be a good 2020. Yeah. Trust me. Hell yeah. It's going to be a good year. Oh, uh, one more thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted to say congrats because I noticed you've been blue check marked. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you, man. Thank I don't you, know. I, I don't know how long ago it happened, but I was like, I saw it. Like, I was texting a few months ago. And yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> that's official. Is he blue that's Blue that's check mark. Blue check mark. Got the take. Got the take. Yeah, All right, man. man that's Heck it. Yeah. The stamp of approval. <laughs> a word, congrats, right? Congrats, bro. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, congrats. Bro. You already know, man. Hope you have a good yeah. 2020. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for coming up. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Peace.